Well, good day and welcome to Stu's Shed. In a previous episode, I showed how easy it was to cut a circle on a bandsaw. And since then, I've acquired a torque work centre and I wanted to now show you just how easy it is to cut a, a circle on this machine. And as far as I'm concerned, this has uh, so far been the easiest way that I've found for uh, cutting any sort of circle. And in the case of the torque work centre, the uh, size of the circle that I can manage on it is phenomenal compared to uh, any other method that I've, I've tried so far. The size circle I can cut on this machine is pretty much the length of the machine as a radius. So in this case it's a two and a half meter machine which gives me a two meter uh, actual working area. Which means in theory I could actually cut a circle that was four meters in diameter. <laughs> it's a phenomenally large circle to the table or a, a circle of any form. Now obviously most of the time or pretty much all the time I'm not going to need to cut a circle that size. But uh, quite often I'll need to do something like this. In this case, it's a bit of a top of a uh, of a stool that I, I sometimes make for well made for myself and I'll make for a, a friend soon, uh, which I call a, a glueless stool, and it's one that they you can actually use in the shower because without the glue being a problem, and uh, it's also made out of you know cheap pine, so after a while when it uh, starts becoming an issue, just throw it away and, and make another one. And uh, that just makes quite a nice, well I use that for the seat. And so I'm going to cut one of these today. Now, to start off with, and just in prep, I've uh, squared up the timber. That doesn't have to be exact, it's just roughly the right uh, size. And on the back, I've uh, found the centre, just uh, drawn the lines between the diagonals. And I've drilled a little pilot hole. And the project in this case, I'll be able to hide that hole, so it's not a not a problem uh, having something like that in the project. And it's only a partial depth hole; it's not coming through to the uh, the working surface or the top surface. That hole is to engage this pin. It's a copying pin from the uh, Torque Work Centre, and it engages in a holder that's actually mounted into the surface of the work centre itself. And that will just fit into that hole and give me a point to. Uh, be able to spin the work on. So that's the first step. Now I'll just put that onto the there itself. So that's now free. Spin quite happily on top of the work tool work center and yet it can't go anywhere. Okay so that's all ready to go. Now to set that in the right position I've already locked this carriage in this direction and so it's roughly uh, in line with that pin but it doesn't have to be exact. What I'm doing is setting the distance between the pin and the router bit will be the radius of the cut. And then I set the outside diameter of, or well, set the, uh, the actual radius of the cut, and I could actually measure it if it, it was critical for me to actually have a, uh, a specific a circle of a specific size. But in this case, I just want it so I can get a, a, a circle all the way around, and so I'm having it so I just make sure that I don't drop out at all over any side so I end up with a flat spot. So that's about right. I lock the carriage and now that's restrained in the X direction. It's restrained in the Y direction so all that's left for me to do is actually plunge into the work. Last thing I'm going to do and actually I'm going to change the dimension again. I'm just going to set this up again. That's my full depth and that will, if I cut to that depth I've plunged all the way through the work and so I'm going to set my depth stop at that point. And I should have done that first. So let's just try that again. That's now set. That's ready to go. And uh, the job's all set up. And that's how easy it is to set up for a circle cut. There's no need for me to make a jig or a carriage to pass into the bandsaw. The other real beauty of using this method over using a bandsaw is if I need to actually restrain, retain the outside. If I actually wanted to cut the material out, and there was the outside ring with a hole cut out of it that was important. I could do it with a router, particularly if I used a very fine bit, and I wouldn't be cutting through that when I was uh, doing it on the bandsaw. And uh, for those who actually use the... Uh, uh, who have that uh, requirement, and um, bowl turners, for example, who do segmented bowl, uh, bowls, quite often will use the bandsaw to actually produce their, their rings to start forming the bowl and they have this cut through each layer uh, because of the, using the bandsaw for it and this gets around that problem. Okay, so that's all set up to go 
And uh, there, look, there's literally nothing else to say other than doing the cut itself. So let me start up the uh, dust extractor, put on some uh, safety gear, and, and let's make this cut. That's how easy it is to actually cut a circle. In this case, a few of the uh, pickup points that uh, would have been quite obvious to you. Um, firstly, my dust extractor actually clogged partway through the cut, so um, I'm getting a lot more shavings than I was uh, kind of expecting. Um, secondly, this board that I, I used has actually a, had a bit of a cup in it, and that was causing me a little bit of an issue. And finally, I actually had to adjust the, uh, the height of the dust extraction guard. Um, but other than that, that's how easy it is to actually cut a circle on the on the Talk Work Centre.